how Waters here is doing now. What? Their website no longer exists? That's not a good sign. What about their brand new Waters here California website? What? That's down too? This can't be right. These guys had an awesome idea with an awesome video showing how you could pull gallons of water out of the desert air for free using computer generated mushrooms. Water Seer uses the environment around it to extract water from the atmosphere. The Water Seer device is planted about six or more feet into the ground. The metal sides of the underground chamber are cooled by the surrounding soil. Wind spins a helical turbine fan blades that direct air into a condensation chamber. As the warmer air cools in the chamber, the water vapor condenses onto the sides. The clean, safe, pure water can be extracted from the reservoir through a simple hose and pump. Because the sides of the underground chamber are always cooler than the air, Water Seer is always collecting water, day and night. Under optimal conditions, a single water seer may collect as much as 37 litres of clean, fresh water every day. Several can generate enough water for an entire community. Our goal is to make water seer available worldwide to the areas where they are most needed. They had jazzy videos of them making them with 3D printers. I mean, wow, look, they've got a 3D printer and they've used it to invent the tube. They got a third of a million dollars of Kickstarter or Indiegogo or something to do this sort of thing. Hell, they were directly promoted by Indiegogo. Water Seer condenses pure water from air without power or chemicals. Water Seer is a sustainable solution where people live 24 hours a day without electricity or power. And just look at all the poor people that it's going to help. They had the backing of Berkeley, one of the world's top universities. It was featured on the BBC and in Time magazine. Nancy, one of their founding team, was some finalist in some great prize for Google for women who tech. Oh, granted, that was about the time they were ditching their claims about this thing requiring no extra power and instead were going for simply some off-the-shelf power-hungry $200 Walmart dehumidifier in a large plastic tube. Most of the water used in California comes from unreliable mountain snowpacks or from underground aquifers that are being depleted faster than they can be replenished leading to shortages and an uncertain water feed. Water Seer implements a simple, affordable, sustainable technology that collects water directly from the air around us. Water Seer is not a scam and is, in fact, an award-winning startup. Google, Cativa, uh, Chamber of Commerce. Sitting at the uh, Shumi America uh, <laughs> Spiritual Center, demonstrating the water seer technology, which is an atmospheric water generator. There's the, that's their logo, and then this is the actual unit itself. Wow, that's starting to look uh, kind of familiar. It sold at Walmart for $200. And they're selling it to hippies in California for $1,300. <laughs> that is glorious. I mean, let's just ignore the juiciest bit of all that a revolutionary new water harvesting device is now actually an, literally an off the shelf dehumidifier from Walmart or Amazon. With, of course, a manual that says, don't look behind the curtain. If you open this plastic tube, the warranty is void because the unit is complete and ready to operate. No modification is required. Do not attempt to open your water seer. There is no... Oh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Customer maintenance requirement on the interior and nothing that can be fixed or adjusted by the user. Oh, I, I, I am the great and powerful wizard. Forcing the chassis will void your warranty. Something tells me that they really don't want you to look inside of this uh, 
This, this, this great new free water from air device. Engineering and crafted in the USA. Here at Water Sierra Inc, we take great pride in making sure our products bring water over its entire life cycle. Purchase a Water Sierra Sonoma. If only there were some actual videos, say on uh, Amazon, of these things actually being made. Like, uh, okay, this, this is this is kind of fun. Wow, that that's odd. Those, those don't look like very American workers. It it's almost like they're, they're made in China or something. But no, that that couldn't be. You know, I'm I'm sure at the end we'll get the headquarters with America. Are those American flags? They, 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 they look very red for American flags, but I, I'm sure they're made with pride in America. And of course, far from being free water for the poor people of the world, would have actually been one of the least green, power-hungry ways of getting clean water. <laughs> it's essentially trying to get water by air conditioning the planet. But I, I, I seem to recall there was some some nobody, some small-minded skeptic who just wanted to live in the dark and curse the candle lighters. A word on trolls. Developing Water Sea Sonoma 2018 has been an amazing and rewarding experience. Access to clean water is a worldwide crisis. This urgent problem and amazing people and organizations working on a solution continue to inspire us. However, not everyone believes in this mission. And you may have seen some on the internet, trolls on Facebook, YouTube, and other social media outlets. Where is my device or my refund? One month ago, two months ago, crooks. In addition to publishing, defaming, uninformed, and fraudulent, trolls have made death threats, trespassed on our offices, sought physical confrontation, initiated cyber attacks, and worse, phew. It's just mystifying it to us why an effort to develop a solution to the water crisis would generate such hate and hostility. Our legal advisors and mentors have told us that this is the flip side of taking on great challenges with daring, disruptive solutions. <laughs> Apparently, some people enjoy living in the dark and cursing their candle lighters. Yeah, I had some, some minor little trivial complaint about something called thermomechanistics or something. I don't know. But that's right. They even filed a trademark violation against him. It was in one of his videos. I know. Let's, let's look up that trademark, shall we, and see how it's doing. So, there we go. Waters here. Trademark details. Status. Abandoned. Failed to respond. Or late response. And... That was as of earlier this year. And this is the bizarre thing. The filing date uh, was late last year, which was just before I actually got the trademark complaint from YouTube. I mean, could it possibly be that these people actually trademarked this just so they could file a complaint against me? Anyway, if you take a look at the history, they filed it and then it went on for a bit and failed uh abandonment failed to respond or late response abandonment notice emailed failed to respond huh along with the water seer websites going down so here we have the uh, water seer three hundred thousand dollars raised in no on november the 23rd 2016. The new and beautiful Waterseer Sonoma 19 starts production. Better performance, stronger construction, flawless appearance. They must have a lot of happy customers seeing this. Uh, <laughs> it's not a Walmart air conditioner. Sorry, a Walmart uh, dehumidifier. 21 hours ago, Paul Ramos. Can you post their contact info into the group? Uh, Rusty, when do these arse hats go to jail? I'm not sensing a lot of goodwill amongst these investors. Came to the site to follow up on my water seer. Thanks to everyone for sharing your experience. It makes it a little easier to know that there are others. I also invested $134 in October 2016. We'll contact the FTC. The FTC, for those who don't know, is the Federal Trade Commission. Forrest, 
I also contributed $134 as an early investor. No product, no updates for over a year. I knew this was a development project, but was willing to take the risk to help third world people. I'm not happy about being conned in a scam. I asked for an update one year ago and was promised it was scheduled for the next build cycle. Never received anything. When I asked for a refund, it was a long song and dance about since I was an early adopter, I would only get one tenth of my refund back. I see both of their websites are now shut down. Uh, emails to them come back rejected 12 days ago. Uh, Treat Inc. In November 2016, I purchased a Watersea Sonoma. That's one of the ones that cost about $1,000, which was not yet available. In February 2019, they said they would build my order in March 2019. Since then, no one will respond to me. In two years, I have never received it. In the summer of 2019, watersea.org resurfaced as watersea.california.com, trying to sell device to preppers. Whatever the hell they are. Now both websites have disappeared. I have filed a complaint with the FTC. Mm, yeah, not a lot of happy customers here. And you'll be happy to know if you take a look at the uh, the instigators of the campaign, you'll find a nice little description of themselves. There they are. We are passionate about helping innovators build compelling, brilliantly conceived and refined innovations that make a difference. We have led four successful startup companies. I <laughs> think they might have confused. I, I, I think they might have put that word in there by accident. We have started four startup companies. The courageous decisions that lead to extraordinary results. We weigh the risks and benefits of innovative solutions against business as usual. We harness the power of innovations to transform their visions into value, fueling job creation in America and challenging the world. It's, it is here at Viki Labs that imagination and dreams come to reality. Check us out on LinkedIn at vkilabs.com. Okay, let's, let's try that, shall we? Let's take a look at, for vkilabs.com. <laughs> that's gone as well. <laughs> that's not a good sign. Now, I want to stress that UC Berkeley, one of the world's top universities, but they actually promoted this thing. A little reminder. <laughs> You'll see why this is so relevant later. Making clean water possible in these parts of the world will have a simply life-changing and revolutionary effect on what it means for almost everybody in uh, that part of the world and therefore in the whole world. Yes, and with such world-changing aspirations, maybe that's why the first prize in their design competition was $12,000. Seriously, I still can't get over the fact that they had a competition in an engineering school, which you can show with just some simple back-of-the-envelope calculations that the whole idea is bullshit. Here is the uh, interim faculty director of another Berkeley Institute, the Jacobs Institute, worrying about the design of a machine that you can trivially show is a non-starter thermodynamically. Half in the Jacobs Institute have been really hands-on involved with helping the students think through both the conceptual questions about the design as well as concrete fabrication. But hey, this is the University of California at Berkeley, currently rated as number 13 in the world. I mean, they've got to have some real quality students there who will actually think this through and work out that the whole thing is thermodynamically a complete non-starter. You know, getting water from the air is the purest form of water that you can get. The project is in itself a very profound, uh, impactful solution to many people around the world who don't have clean, accessible water. Now, you might think that backing a scam water from air device might have dampened their uh, their enthusiasm a little. But no, they're right up there promoting their new water from air device. This time, they've got it right. This time, they've invented, sorry, reinvented the desiccant dehumidifier. And maybe just to highlight how these really are nothing new. 
Here's a review of these things, of desiccant dehumidifiers going back to 1993 from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. Air dehumidification can be achieved by two methods, cooling down the air below the dew point and removing moisture by condensation, or sorption by a desiccant material Desiccants in either solid or liquid form have a natural affinity for removing moisture. So let's take a quick look at a news report going back over a decade to about 2007 of someone saying that they've invented a desiccant dehumidifier that works on lithium chloride that is going to be awesome. We are convinced that this is an incredible innovation uh, that will, will be the future of disaster response. It is not a giant dehumidifier like some people might think. This is a very different technology using what we call hygroscopic media. Actually, no, it's exactly a desiccant dehumidifier. But the secret lies with lithium chloride, an extremely salty solution that draws the water molecules from the air. What it does is that it collects water from the atmosphere at a very dry conditions and then releases it so we can harvest it as a liquid water by using only energy of sunlight. But the fundamental reason why these things have never been commercially viable is the simple thermodynamics that it takes a colossal amount of energy to get water out of the air, which makes water from air one of the most energy intensive, expensive and unenvironmentally friendly ways of getting water. And this, this is Berkeley's brilliant new idea. Let's get water from the air. You know, not in the sensible way, like rain. But no, we've got to suck water out of the air using a dehumidifier. If only their sales pitch was distinguishable from when they were backing a scam. In our latest work, we have the next generation water harvester. This can work out in the desert where there is no supply of energy aside from sunlight. Making clean water possible in these parts of the world will have a simply life-changing and revolutionary effect on what it means for almost everybody in uh, that part of the world and therefore in the whole world. Almost one third of the world is water stressed. To be able to deliver liquid water is quite powerful. Let's take a look at this revolutionary new device they've been working on, shall we? Wow, that's starting to look rather familiar. It's starting to look like zero mass water. Yes, UC Berkeley have now reinvented something that was fundamentally stupid and already existed. The solar power desiccant dehumidifier. Let's see, a small desiccant bed and a bloody giant solar panel. And you'll be glad to know that since I busted this two panel array thing, which produces a few liters per day optimistically, its price has gone up from $4,000 per pair of units or something to $6,000. They require constant maintenance, unless of course, you don't wanna get poisoned by your collected water. They collect about 1 20th of the water that an average family uses. Or looked at another way, you would have to spend um, $400,000 on these free water from air devices to supply an average family. And that's assuming that they run with no maintenance. The average family over a, say, 70 year lifespan uses about $40,000 worth of water. So yeah, it's at least 10 times more expensive than tap water. And that's on the optimistic assumption that you have enough space for a 60 panel array and it requires no maintenance. And that's the idea that Berkeley looked at and thought, yeah, you know what the world really needs reinventing? Another one of those. So with that, I think we can safely say the water seer is dead, along with Fontus, the uh, self-filling water bottle. But the rate at which people seem to reinvent the free water from air device just seems to do nothing but increase. But all the water that we need it, it exists right here in the air. Be 100, 200, 250,000, a million gallons of water at an incredibly low energy consumption. I think cheap, cheaper than groundwater by far. A single water seer may collect as much as 37 liters of clean, fresh water every day. Uh, cheaper than desalination. And you only have to look at the comments on these things. He needs to be nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. 
He needs to be honoured by the White House, United Nations and the world. Be safe, bro. We need one of those on the US Virgin Islands. I salute you, sir. A true engineer. Take it to Africa. And, uh, <laughs> Thunderfoot is on his way. But if you like seeing $100,000 scams like this, bust it. Then hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on new uploads. And if you really like this channel, you can support it either directly on Patreon or by visiting my Amazon store below. And uh, thanks for watching.